Hello and welcome to today's video about setting Google Cloud SDK for multiple projects. In this video, I want to talk to briefly about Google Cloud SDK, how to set it and install, and then how to configure it so you can work with multiple Google Cloud Platform projects. So first of all, what is Google Cloud SDK? Basically, it's common line interface for Google Cloud Platform products and services. You can create Google Compute Engine instances, for example, upload files to Google Cloud Storage, configure network, deploy Google App Engine apps, and so on. It has also emulators for data store, PubSub, App Engine libraries, Kubernetes, and it's good to use in automating scripts, bash, or if you don't like to click through web interface, you can do everything to command line. So I have here Ubuntu virtual machine, and I will install here Google Cloud SDK. So I don't know exact address for installation file, so I will just type Google Cloud SDK download and it will get me to the files. So the first link it's here there are a few sections so system requirements it needs Python and there are a few options how to install one is to use for your system for example Ubuntu Debian to under up to get or there is just like clean files you can unpack and set and I will use that in this case it's the first option here there are also for macOS installation files and uh, we have also for Windows also with Python bundled so can choose which is appropriate for you I will click for Linux for 64 bits I'm gonna save so I'm gonna exit the browser and I will go to console so here is downloaded file I will unpack it with this command so it will create folder and unpack all files in there. So I will now enter the folder. And let's see what we got here. There is install.sh file, which is file we need to execute. So this is the question, do we want to improve the Google Cloud SDK by reporting? So let's say yes. And here is now a list of all libraries and commands and programs which are included in SDK. And we can choose whether we want which we want to install. Some are installed separately, so I will just go with default and I will say yes and we need also rc file to update so i want to update default file which is bash rc and that's it so we have now configured google cloud sdk next step is to log in and we will do this with command gcloud init And I will type yes to proceed. So now browser will open and I can select Gmail account to which I'm already signed. And I need to allow Google Cloud SDK to access some of my resources or properties. And after that, it's done. So I'm successfully authenticated. And now I can select one of my existing projects or I can create new one which will be used as default. So I will select 
existing. Now when I type command G cloud config list, here is list of my configuration current for this project. Now configurations for multiple projects are managed through configurations. So when I type command G cloud config configurations and list, I can see list of all my configuration and currently I have only default which is the one I currently created. So now when I type G cloud config configurations create I need to set some name for this configuration so I'll call it test config let's say and now new configuration is created and already activated so now when I type gcloud in it I can select one of few options and I will select reinitialized number one which means that I can select existing project oh first I need to uh, select account so I will use the only one I have and now I can select either existing project or I can create new one so I will select existing and now oh I don't want to configure compute engine and now under this configuration I have project number 43 and now when I type gcloud config configurations oh, config configurations list I'll see two configurations first one is default and second one is test config which I created and as you can see it's already active the switch between configurations we use uh, activate command and uh, so for example now if I would want to go back to default configuration I will type gcloud config configurations activate and name of configuration in this case default and now I work under settings for default configuration and the last thing is to delete gcloud config configurations delete and name of configuration and in that way I can delete configuration if I don't need it anymore which doesn't mean the project will be deleted only configuration on our local computer and that's it that's those are the basic things you can do with configurations and that is create, initialize, switch between configurations and delete. So I hope this video was useful to you and feel free to leave comments or any questions if you have and in the end I would like to encourage you to subscribe to weekly newsletter if you are interested in Google Cloud Platform or you can read more about uh, Google Cloud Platform on my blog or check other videos in my YouTube channel and in case you need uh, consulting services I offer them and you can check on my consulting page. That's all. Have a nice day.